four exhausting, excruciating months, Charlene Bosma has been here every day. Inside courtroom 600, she sits in the front row, just arm's length from the two men charged with killing her husband, Tim. His disappearance, the frantic search, then the stunning news of his death. It was spring 2013. Tim did something countless others have done. He posted his truck for sale online. Late one evening, two men walked up the Bosma's long driveway, made small talk, then all three drove off for a test drive. Tim never came home. It is just a truck. You don't need him, but I do. And our daughter needs her daddy back. By then, Tim was already dead, shot just minutes from home inside his truck. Human remains burned beyond recognition were later found on a farm nearby. Now, three years later, the trial into Tim's death is in the hands of a jury. 12 men and women are sifting through 16 weeks of evidence. And while we know who stands accused, there is still no clear answer why, and there may never be. Dylan Millard and Mark Smitch are an unlikely pair. Millard, someone who growing up had everything coming from a rich family. But for whatever reason, he veered into a life of petty crime. The jury in this trial doesn't know that he's also facing two other murder charges, including one in connection with the death of his father. I'm a killer, check my design. Man. Smitch was a wannabe rapper and small time drug dealer. He gave the jury something no other witness could, a first hand account of the test drive. Smitch claimed he wasn't even in the truck when Millard shot Bosma. Millard was charming and wealthy and despite that, orchestrated elaborate petty crimes he called his missions. Unlike Smitch, Millard chose not to testify, but his lawyer offered his version of the test drive, saying it was Smitch who lost his cool, pulling a gun that fired accidentally, killing Bosma. The Crown argued ultimately it doesn't matter who pulled the trigger, alleging Millard and Smitch planned for months. They killed together, then they cleaned up together. Bosma's truck was their trophy. Well, there is so much evidence to consider, perhaps the most damning is the truck. One of Millard's employees happened to recognize it from the news and sent this photo to police after it suddenly appeared at Millard's business. The truck was later found parked inside a trailer at Millard's mother's home. The inside stripped, the seats burned, traces of Bosma's blood everywhere. The question so many have struggled to reconcile is why, why Tim? Even the Crown admitted there is no clear answer. Tim Bosma was a random target. During his closing address, the Crown told the jury that sometimes people are just killers. It is horrifying and it is senseless, but that's what happened here. Shannon Martin, CBC News, Hamilton.